guys, it's Cassie. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and happy almost New Year's. Can't believe it's almost 2017. Like, what? That's crazy. So today I have a core workout for you. It's probably like six or seven minutes, I don't know exactly, of um, non-stop abs. So your stomach gonna be burning. I'm really excited. And what is this hair doing? This is... So just follow along. Make sure to stretch a little bit before I warm up a little. Um, yeah, so let's get right on into it. If you guys want me to make more certain muscle group videos, then let me know down in the comments like which ones you want. Um, even like weighted abs or something. I don't think I've done many of those, if any at all. Um, you know, if you want me to do more legs or arms or chest or back or anything like that. So just let me know. And give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm almost at 450 um, subscribers, so get me there, please, please. Um, so yeah, that's all I gotta say. Let's get into this workout, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so to start off, we're doing some toe touches. So basically put your legs straight up in the air and use your stomach muscles, not your neck or hands, to touch your toes almost. So. What I'm doing with these exercises is basically right as I get super tired, I switch up the exercise to something else working a different part of your core or even the same part but a little bit of a different muscle because you're changing up the exercise. So I don't have an exact amount of reps to do for any of these. This is just how many I can do before I'm about to lose form because my muscles get tired. So now we're getting on to some bicycle crunches. Again, using your stomach muscles, don't just pull your neck or head to do these. That doesn't work anything and you can get a lot of neck or shoulder problems. So just rotate um, using both obliques and never let your feet touch the ground. All right, now moving into a plank position. Um, these are up and down planks, so alternate which arm goes up and down um, each time you can kind of just see what I'm doing I'm right left left right left right right left and just keep going up and down now these are also planks I'm just touching my chest alternating arms as well and try and keep your body a little bit straighter than mine. I'm kind of wiggling from side to side, but really you're trying to just keep your body in line and using your core to stay in one position. Okay, now we're going on our sides for oblique V-ups. So basically, um, you can have the hand closest to the ground, on the ground, straight, and um, using your the side of your abs, which is the obliques, um, lift up your side and touch your elbow to your knee and make sure to do it on the other side as well. And you can see me struggling a lot on this, so don't worry if you guys can't do all these or do it for as long as I can or if you can go for longer that's great for you but I am struggling so this one is basically just a sit up but I'm using my arms um, not to push myself but to just make sure I'm going in the right direction because when you do sit ups you don't want to go straight forward you want to kind of go up more so see how my arms go up at the top that means that you're working what you're supposed to on your entire core, not just your upper abs. And every time you do ab exercises, when you're actually doing the exercise like now, or right now, like that, is when you wanna breathe out and engage your core. Cause that's what builds the best muscle when you really, really focus on that muscle and breathing out.
that exercise I think is the most fun for me. I think it's the easiest. So that's why I did that for that long. Um, these ones, I call them track sit-ups. You could call them in and out. I don't know what you want to do. But the only thing on the ground should be your butt. You should not put your legs or back on the ground. And I'm taking little breaks here and there because I don't want to lose form. You want to keep doing the same form. Even if it's really difficult for you, you can take little breaks if it means not losing your form. So you just want to do what I'm doing. It's kind of self-explanatory. You can have your... Um, hands behind your head or on the sides like I am doing. I couldn't do that many of those after this whole workout, so those are pretty difficult sometimes. Now these are called flutter kicks. These are really difficult, I think. They work your lower abs, especially after doing all this ab workout stuff that is very difficult. So. Um, the farther down you are with your legs to the ground is the harder that it is and I'm making it a little easier by bending my knees right now because I'm my muscles are very tired so I couldn't do it with my straight legs and I wanted to get close to the ground so engage your lower core when you do that exercise and the last one are just plain old crunches um, I'm holding it at the top for a little bit. Again, you don't want to just pull your neck or head up. You want to really just use your upper abs. So breathe out and hold it. Breathe in, breathe out, hold it. And you just want to really, really engage that core. So feel your muscles tightening up when you go up and hold it. And you should just really, really feel that in your stomach, not in your neck or your shoulders or anything else. Just hold it there, down, and try holding it for five to 10 seconds each time. I'm doing it for about three right now, or longer, that's great. 